Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes. GPs in Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland are going to be spitting feathers. Many of them may well elect to come to England because Rachel Reeves has done it again. She's undermined the devolved assemblies when it comes to health. She's awarded English GPs and GP salaried, you know, salaried GPs and GP partners. Uh, and above a plate inflation, a three times above inflation pay rise of 6%. Scotland and Wales cannot afford this. Northern Ireland cannot afford this. All these uh, health services are devolved. Now, what are they going to do? Especially Scotland, which is already looking at a major crisis with hospital doctors because England is paying the junior doctors an extra 22% they know they're going to lose a lot of doctors south of the border. But now it looks as though there may well be GPs going south of the border as well. They must be putting their head in their hands and crying. But uh, Rachel Reeves has said she's accepting in full the recommendations of an independent pay unit for GPs in England. Uh, and she will pay that full 6%. Um, there's also an additional £1,000 per doctor training fee, which isn't available in Scotland or Wales. I don't know about the situation in Northern Ireland on that one. But again, with the higher tax, particularly in Scotland, GPs are going to move south. Now, good news if you happen to be an English patient looking for uh, a doctor. Not so good if you're in Scotland and you've got some aches and pains or a funny little growth that you might need to get some cream for. GPs are the backbone of the NHS and without them the NHS will collapse. They are also of course the gatekeepers to consultants. How on earth can the SNP which demanded devolved powers, demanded devolved health possibly compete? Well the answer is they can't. They literally can't. Um, the BMA Northern Ireland has said it is deeply concerning that the province's Department of Health indicating they will not be matching this payment. BMA Scotland has said they would enter what they call a detailed process with the Scottish Government. And BMA Wales said it hoped that the recommendations would be honoured by the Welsh Government. The fact is that none of them can afford it. They are all brassic. This is absolutely a poke in the eye for devolved assemblies everywhere. And it makes me wonder if perhaps Rachel Reeves isn't doing it deliberately, forcing these pay rises onto assemblies that cannot afford it in order to lighten the load, ask them to take powers back and with it responsibilities. It seems possible, can't guarantee it. It's just a, just a little smoke in the air thought, you know, it's just, hmm, I wonder. But I wouldn't put it past them. Anyway, there we go. If you're in Scotland, prepare not only to lose your hospital doctors, but to lose your GPs as well. Thanks a lot. Bye.